Hello, my name is Ilian St. Hilaire, and I want to make a short video on the background of how we developed the developer toolkit. So, the developer toolkit, the Intel AMT developer toolkit, has been around for about a year. I started uh, last year, uh, you know, basically developing it here. And I want to just show a little bit the background, my cubicle, and uh, a little bit of the development process of the developer toolkit. Um, so, I'm located in uh, Hillsboro, Oregon, which is uh, next to Portland, Oregon, and this is one of the big uh, campuses of Intel, the Jones Farm campus. And this is not a fab, we especially do software and design work in this site. So the first thing I want to show here is, um, is my Hall of Fame board. So this is right next to my cubicle, which is on the other side here, and there's a whole bunch of stuff like download counts, latest features I have. This is a picture, for example, of Commander in five languages and stuff like that. This is the way I, I show to coworkers um, the progress I'm making with the developer toolkit. Uh, of course, all of you guys' feedback into what features I should be adding to the developer toolkit is very important. So we can come al along here. These are the latest uh, announcement I have. These are blog entries, for example. Um, there's a picture of me here. There's uh, press articles. And by the way, if you guys ever spot a press article that features the developer toolkit, commander, or stuff, send it in so I can actually um, I can post it on my board. And so that would be great. Um, that's my name right here, Ilian St. Hilaire. I have more stuff on this side. And come along. Um, now, just a little explanation here. I have a large cubicle here. This is the lab. And we have the small cubicle, which is my official cube. Now, my official cube, I don't use it too much. This is essentially a, a storage area. And you can kind of come in here and, and take a look at it. But uh, you know, I, I don't ever use this, this thing here. <laughs> now, um, now, let's back up and take a look at the big cube. So this is my Intel AMT soft lab. Normally, this is where we do demonstrations. And uh, customers, uh, internal and external, would come here. Um, and you, um, you could kind of try to keep this uh, area kind of pretty, but this is my main developer workspace right here. So I have a large um, you know, Dell monitor here that's just absolutely fantastic for development. And I'm developing on uh, an, a Badax AMT 1.0 computer right there. Actually, I don't use the AMT on my development mach machine very much. I have a whole lot of other AMT machines around. So the first thing you'll notice, of course, in this cubicle is that I have probably have one of the cubicles with the most plants at Intel. I have, uh, I think, what, six plants around here? So if you want to pan around and, and take a look at all the plants I have, I have my little plants are around here. I have one there. I have a little cow that I bought a garage shell. And um, because I want a whole bunch of demos for, um, for Intel internal demos, so I have a couple of awards for that. I have my National Geographic um, magazines, High Definition TV, which is great for doing demos. There's uh, on the Intel website, there's this demo where they do Intel V Pro and they rock and roll. I put that uh, video here if I want to distract my uh, customers. <laughs> Lots of other plants. Now you'll notice these are the two computers that are featured in the um, in Intel NT Commander. If you if you look at the little uh, pictures on the right, you'll recognize these two computers. They've been bought at a local store next door, and I just put um, Intel vPro motherboards on here. The one on the left is an AMT 3.0 Waybridge, and the one on the right, right is a Guardfish AMT 2.0. So I use them a lot for testing. On the bottom here, I have a 2.0. I have two computers that are wrecked, and I have another prototype machine here that's not working currently. On the right, I have a Microsoft Home Server. I've been doing some experiments with that. Hopefully, I'll be releasing some software soon on this. And this is my domain controller um, and SCS server. And I'm hoping to use that for uh, enterprise development. I haven't had much time to, to use SCS so far, but that's, that's my server for it. Um, and it serves as a domain controller. So if I want to set up some of my machines to do Kerberos, that's, um, that's how I would do it. Here, I have uh, other set of machines. I have uh, AMT 3.0. 2.5, this is a, a laptop. It's actually a laptop, but it's, it's in a desktop case. And so I, I use it for, uh, this is a Santa Rosa for my development. I have an AMT 2.0 here in my 1.0 developer machine. I also have a 2.0 HP. Thank you, HP, for providing this. By the way, if you guys have other machines you want me to test against, feel free to send it over. But anyway, this is, um, this is my full set of machines. So I have four of 
of this on this KVM. Um, I have two gigabit switches. I do all my my internal network here where I connect all these machines together, all gigabit. Uh, in this folder, I have two Santa Rosa HP laptops. They're also connected to my network. So in total, I have about 10 different machines that I um, that I test against for AMT. So all these machines are always on and so on and so forth. Um, uh, at least AMT is always on. So that's about my tour. Um, so of course, I want to make sure that everybody uh, continues to send their feedback over for the developer toolkit. I really count on you guys to uh, serve as my quality insurance, make sure that I, um, I do a good job on, on software quality, but also that uh, any features you guys want me to add in my developer toolkit that I uh, add those promptly. Anyway, that was a quick tour of my uh, workplace. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.